like that. Oh, he puts it in. One, two, three. He makes it quick and easy. Fantastic goal, really it was. Makes the slide through. Oh, he's got a man for all goal here. It's a stunning goal from Ovi. What's going on everyone and welcome to the third episode of this mini-series that I'm doing on my channel. A mini-series called Why Always Me with the legend Gheorghe Haji. And in the last um, episode we got to open some packs. If you missed it, if you don't know what's going on in this series, I will leave a link in the description to the previous episodes. You can go and check them out and afterwards come and check this third installment of this series. First game of the day. This guy has a very nice team. Aubameyang as a striker, Ola John as a left mid, Blachikovsky on the right. It's the first uh, opponent that has a very, very good, good team. And now the cross with Blachikovsky, and he gets the the goal here. Minute 45. I didn't really have any chances until this minute. He didn't either but he scored his first chance which which is very important now he gets the second goal and i was in a bad situation here what do we do when we are in a bad situation we go we pause that game we relax a bit and we use the 4-3-3 attacking that's the best formation in my opinion in order to get back in the game to put pressure on your opponent you need to to come back because uh, there are two goals difference you can't wait until minute 80 to do something you need to do something now to change something in the game Haji here almost with the goal that maybe could have changed the game um, in our favor but afterwards the corner kick he's amazing amazing here perfect cross and it's 2-1 we're back in it baby and we have a good chance at actually winning this game even if until now we didn't have too many chances i believe that this 4-3-3 attacking formation will help us get the win again haji with the steal the perfect cross wellington with the header it's an assist so it counts it's 2-2 we equalized the game and we are back on track in this series now minute 72 haji on the ball again Babon a long pass, perfect over the head, over the head chip pass for Haji. Now the fake and the cross baby, come on, let's go with the third. Giroud with the volley and it's 3-2 for us. I told you, go watch my tutorials. This formation, this 4-3-3 attacking formation works perfectly when you want to get back in a game that you are losing. When the opponent has a better team than you, you need to use this one. He will have a lot of problems defending here when let's see again a cross from Haji Wellington 4-2 baby the win is ours this was an amazing comeback from um, from my team it's 4-2 minutes 86 I don't think he can come, come back uh, at this moment still he gets uh, a rebound and a goal here but as you will see now, it's too little too late for him in order to have any expectations from this game. This was our first difficult game. We were down two goals, but a beautiful comeback because uh, of my tactic. I changed the formation. I surprised him. I used exactly what's good to use against his 4-2-3-1 uh, uh, wide formation. And Haji was again a beauty to use. He didn't score so many goals now, but he did the assists, baby. The perfect crosses, the corner kicks. He did exactly what you expect from a big player in an important uh, situation. Let's jump in now to the second game of this episode. A French-based team. Very good, full chemistry. Giroud up front, Valbuena, Clichy, Sanya. As I said, full chemistry very important in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team because you get that extra boost in the attributes. Now the one to Haji with Wellington. Haji at the ball, he doesn't miss from there. Deadly with the left, deadly with the right because he has five stars at his weak foot. He's so unpredictable which absolutely kills the opponent's defense. Now look at him. He got so mad here because Haji was dribbling perfectly and he gets the red card. 
Now he will get even more angry and guess what he will do. Yeah, baby. He will rage quit, which means money in the bank for us. Extra pack. And that's exactly what we want in order to improve the quality of our team. Third game and the last one from this episode. He's using a 4-3-3 attacking team with... I'm hand of the match, adding Zeko up front. Lucas and Shirley, it's a very nice team, but Haji here, and that's a PK baby. He's absolutely amazing with the ball. Very hard to get possession from him when he controls it that well, and he doesn't miss from the penalty. Perfect start, 1 0, minute 16. But this guy was not bad at all, and look at this finish here. Very nice with the left from Schurler. The 4 3 3 attacking formation in Ultimate Team is a very good one. It's very unpredictable. I don't know where he will go, wing or no wing. But now Haji with the steal and with the finish, it's 2 1. We are back winning this game. Look here, he's so agile and he gets the ball from every situation, even if he's not um, so powerful in a shoulder, shoulder to shoulder direct contact with the opponent now again a dribble dribble and the layoff for wellington it's 3-1 and in my opinion it's like game over when you have um, plus two goals in the 70th minute yeah it's game over baby it's 3-1 for us unfortunately no bonus packs from this uh, this game but still we got from the previous one so it's not so bad as you can see haji the best player on the pitch, 9.3, his mark according to EA. Let's jump now and uh, see what we get in this bonus pack. We're opening as always the 7.5k uh, pack and let's see Jordi Alba. Yeah, he will go perfectly on the left because of the speed and combining him with Ramos, that's good chemistry baby. Let's open another pack now because we won the title and we get that. And Diego Lopez, they just want me to do a Spain-based Spain, um, team with Diego Lopez, with Sergio Ramos and with uh, Jordi Alba in the defensive line. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, third episode from this series. If you did drop a like and show your support towards this series as always don't forget to subscribe my name is ovi see you later